Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a couple projects for this winter. Hang out for a minute, I'll tell you all about them. We're back with some new projects. There's a tree fort that's going down in a tree over here. And a greenhouse is going to go somewhere over here. Not going to happen overnight. There'll be video sets for each project, but the first thing I gotta do is mill out some of this lumber. Let's uncover this thing, get it gassed up full of water, and start milling this big log out. So this is a 16 inch log, the long way across here. And this is the top, it's not the bottom. So this is a smaller end, not by much. It's only, I think, an inch shorter this way and an inch short of this way at the other end of it. I'm not an expert. I've only had this sawmill for a, I've only used it a few times. <clears throat> but I'm going to see how much lumber I can get out of this thing. Now I know I need a lot of lumber and my dad would like a few 4x4s and 4x6. So I'm going to see if I can get some 4x4s and 4x6 out of this for my dad along with some 2x4s, <clears throat> maybe some 2x6 for some of my projects. My first couple cuts are going to be on the top and the bottom and then I'll cut some off the sides leaving some of this live edge because I can cut 2x4s and 2x6 out of here before I cut the 4x4s and possibly a couple 4x6 out of the center. So let's get this thing trimmed up a little bit and try not to have too much waste. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to today. I've got a lot of the boards cut to the width. But dealing with that last piece on the on the table, on the ladder, whatever you want to call it, it's not it's not the same thickness from front to back, and it's not the same thickness side to side. From front to back lengthwise it's off by a half inch and it's a almost a 16 foot piece from side to side it's off by I think an eighth of an inch thick <clears throat> now, I, I don't think it matters which bandsaw mill you get you're gonna have a fight keeping it all level honestly what I should have done before I even loaded that log on there I should have re-leveled the rack to make sure that it was still where it was before. Whether the rack's settling, the ground settling underneath it, because I, I leveled this area off, I don't know what happened to cause this. But I've got to troubleshoot it before I can mill that last log off the bottom. The last log on the bottom is what I'm gonna make my four by sixes out of. And right now it's four inches thick on one side and four and an eighth on the other. And four inches, basically four inches thick here, four and a half inches thick at the other end. So I've got to find a way to shave that down, basically by leveling out and squaring up the rack again. So I think this is as far as I'm probably going to get today. I mean, as the sun's setting, it's going to get dark here real quick. But I'll be back on this tomorrow. I've got two more big logs to mill out to get more lumber. 
some of this is going to my dad and some of it's going toward greenhouse and treehouse along with I think three more trees I had to cut down that are dead standing trees so I've got lumber to mill I've just got to square this thing up to make sure it mills it correctly hang out for a little while guys watch these projects come about don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button until next time guys go make something